<laughs> um, yeah. I'm not sure if we represent the whole of the county. We certainly represent a corner of it. Or perhaps, even, um, perhaps represent is too strong. But we work with the corner of, a, of Essex. And we use Essex as a marketing tool uh, in that uh, people have a certain view of what Essex is like. And so it's very useful for us to be able to play on that. But there's also a long tradition of people making art here and doing utopian farms and architecture and all that kind of thing. It's a place where things can happen in a way that other counties, it can't. And I think because land was cheap, people would move out of London, and so it's always renewing itself. Uh, it's going through quite a, um, an expansion of the creative industries in Essex at the moment, as it happens. One of the things I think about local, working locally, is you have to work with what you've got and you have to show what is there. You can't kind of make up some spurious... There aren't enough artists to make up some kind of spurious logic to it. In a sense, we didn't, we didn't conceptualise what we were doing. We just wanted to show their work and we wanted to show it all together. Working in the UK, we tend to think that's what uh, fine art is or that's what the art world is, but actually we're just a tiny cog of a much bigger machine. And it, when you go to America, you find that people, everyone's working with craft because they, they, they have to make things to sell and uh, because there's no public funding. And so if you take public funding out of the equation, then you have to make stuff. And I'm interested in people making things. I think it's an interesting, that mind-hand thing, I think is really important. <laughs>